Who are you? You have known me for a while now. I am called Mantis. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... You came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Peter Quill. You're really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. The name's Star Lord, baby. Oh, I see. Star Lord, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just, it's Star Lord. Legendary outlaw. Why does this never work? Yeah, sure. What? I have another one. Trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Why were you locked in here? so that you could find me. Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories, the ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no. That is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. How? Your mind is clouded with so many emotions. So you seek answers. But those answers will not help you. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh. No. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Watch. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. emotion was that? I do not believe I should say out loud. Sexual. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> what should we try on first? I got just the one.
Uh, something's supposed to be happening here? This furry little creature is full of anger. Yeah, because Quill's a prick who only cares about but him. But beneath that, he is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he is scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. Long ago. Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, wanna hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Star-Lord baby. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated Locked away until the time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Hmm. What an interesting and relevant story. Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. There is a legend of the Celestial One, the Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature, wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. Yeah, I think you got the wrong guy here. I'm just a kid from Earth. It does not matter where you were born. It only matters what you do. You are the Celestial One, Peter. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The Forge is... limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... undeteriorated. <sighs> I... am broke. Well, that sucks. Who is sucking what? No, he means, that is unfortunate. It does not have to suck. What do we gotta do? The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. You can bring back anyone? Like, 
Anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required... energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Well, let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. I Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry. I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. Right now, I'm... I'm thinking we destroy it. Ola can't get her hands on this again. If she does, we're gonna all be speaking Cree. Or dead. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha <sighs> ha. So, uh, am I doing this right, or...? It is easier if you don't talk. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not, uh, not talking. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey, bud. What's up? Go away! I am Groot. What? You hurt me. Oh, I can't believe how selfish you're being. First, you broke your promise about going to Half World with me. Because you were more worried about that Nimrod Nebula. You know, because why would I factor into any of your decisions? I went to Half World just a little later than you wanted. I am Groot. Now. Now you're thinking of destroying that thing? When we know what it can do? When you know what it means to me? You're right. I need to think about this more. Better yet, don't think about it. Just use it. We got this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We shouldn't pass it up. Hey, P. You know, you know what you... You know what you... Well, that's one way to deal with emotions. I am Groot. Calm down. Drax, how are you doing? I am distraught. The Forge can bring my family back, yet you consider destroying it. Well... I... You are our leader, and it is your decision. So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not trust me to guard Nebula. Well, that... And you did not behave in a trustworthy manner just now. Huh? You used that Antenna Woman's powers without permission. 
It was wrong of you to do that. Rocket was clearly angered by what that woman said about his emotions. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. Yeah, okay. I probably shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. It, bad taste on my part. I am glad you are so apologetic. Though I do not understand how your mistake could taste badly. Her ability to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. was that? Uh, I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while, uh, she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying, but I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Give her some space without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Yeah! Just maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Nebula? Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really, how's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Man, you were awesome. And you only had one arm. Well, yeah. Nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, that you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> 